the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, everybody, God bless you. I think you're going to really enjoy the study that we had today. I know you will, because the question of the title for the day is, what must I do to inherit eternal life? That's what preaching the gospel is about, right? It's to show people that they can have eternal life through Christ. Christ said in John 14, 6, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. And so what he did and what we talked about today, uh, and you'll see in this series, and I, I'll break them down in uh, like A, B, C, D, whatever it takes to complete it. But the focus is, what must I do to inherit eternal life? You do, you need to be born again. And John, in Romans, we did in Romans 10, verse 10, 9 and 10, or not with Romans 10, verse 9 and 10, that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God is raised from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Now, the examples that Christ gave dealing with the rich young ruler and dealing with the Samaritan story is to understand that if you are saved, then you should follow these patterns of eternal life. And if you are by the law, and you need to follow the patterns that Christ gave with the rich young ruler and for the Good Samaritan. And each of them is a relationship that we have between one another. I always talk about the fact of bearing good fruit, the fruits of the Spirit, found in Galatians 5, 22 to 23. Now the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there's no law. There's a relationship that we're supposed to have with one another. There's a compassion that we're supposed to have for one another. There's mercy that we're supposed to have for one another. If we learn to do that, we can let our light shine. And that's what I'm thinking about. This is the importance of the pattern that we read it today. So we talk about what's what's that do in here to turn life. Let's read those scriptures. Let's study those scriptures. And then let's be doers of those scriptures. Amen. God bless you. I hope you have a great day. I hope you had a great weekend. Because uh, don't forget, we had the Memorial Day weekend. Uh, that's where we're in right now. Uh, so I hope people will be safe. There's a lot of people traveling. Be safe. Come on back home. We will keep you in prayer. And uh, I'll see you when I see you. God bless you and thank you for listening. And don't forget to subscribe. You know, it makes a difference. Uh, and don't forget that if you like what the message, the content of the message, go ahead and say you like it. Make a comment on it. Help me to, to make sure that I'm listening to God correctly and putting out the product or the message that he wants put out because of how it affects you. Amen? So, subscribe when you hear these, uh, vid when you see these videos. And uh, I'll see you when I see you. God bless you. Bye-bye. I'm sorry. Okay, had compassion and went to him mm. and bound up his wounds, pouring in oil and wine mm -hmm. and set him on his own beast mm. and brought him to an inn. Come on. And took care of him. Wow. So he had compassion, not knowing who this man was. Yeah. Mm. On the morrow, mm. when he departed, he took out two pence and gave mm. them to the host. I don't know what how much two pence was, but it had to be enough. Yeah. For a few yeah days. But, well, it's almost like the penny of the day, right? Remember? Yeah. A day's wages. Yeah. Yeah. Said unto him, take care of him. And whatsoever thou spendest more. Mm. I come again, I will repay thee. Yes, sir. Which now of these three, come on now, thinkest thou was neighbor unto mm. him that fell among the thieves? Mm. This world and system, said, Father, good sir. He that showed mercy on him. Oh. <laughs> How to get eternal now, life? This is, this is crazy <laughs> because now this lawyer knows. Who the priest is? <laughs> he did. And who the Levite was? Yes, he did. <laughs> yes, he did. 
but he wanted to justify himself. Yes. And 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 he was trying and, to lift himself up. Yeah. He said, this guy, obviously these guys are already justified. Yeah. Right? That priest was justified already. Yeah. That Levite was already justified. Because I just read the scripture, those who are going to look at it in Numbers 18, God said, I am their inheritance. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And then this man, Christ sit there and said, well, Brother Al, what did he say? What did he say? said Yeshua unto him, go and do thou likewise. Mm. Mm -hmm. He didn't tell him who, who was the neighbor. He did not. The guy said it, didn't he? <laughs> he told him a story and the guy said who the neighbor was. <laughs> he did. He and did. He, at least one of the at least one of the ones we had before this enough. So it must be two of these parables or something. But the guy said, well he did say it, right? And he said well, well, I thought he answered. I thought that I read one yeah. when and he answered. And he said he that showed mercy on him. Oh, okay, he's the one answering. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. I thought it was Christ for a second. Yeah. Yeah. He did show mercy on him. So he, he brought him to a place where he answered the question for himself. Yes, he did. He gave him an understanding that him and probably all kind of other lawyers would probably be discussing, which is what mm. I was saying before, and really couldn't determine mm. who the neighbor was. Yeah. Just from yeah. reading the, the scriptures. Come on. The law. Come Likewise, on. Likewise, your neighbor. Yes, your neighbor. And so I believe that he really couldn't identify who a neighbor was. Just like we can look at, some people call the person on the left and the right of them the neighbor. I call mm. the person the left, the right, across the street. Yeah. You know, yeah. And, and, and pretty much in my neighborhood is my uh -huh. neighbor. Right. That's why they call it a neighborhood. Well, I know, I know there's two conditions of each of those stories we just read. Uh, I'm gonna cut this off. You can look, you know, you got your Bible. With it. We want people to see us a little bit. Was the fact is that feed the poor, which again is people in need. The man was left half dead, also a person in need. I see a pattern here. I see a pattern with John 3 16 for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Right? To whosoever believe shall not perish, but have everlasting life. In other words, there was a need, God saw a need for salvation for the world. Yeah. And he gave something. He gave his son. Interesting. This pattern is similar, right? Go give to the poor, the first one, and you will have treasure in heaven and you'll be taken care and then you then we, when the disciples got into it they were sitting he was sitting there saying look i'm not even just talking about heaven i'm talking about in this present time mm -hmm. and the same thing with this other man the other story brother i think i see a pattern here about if, if he, he said how are you gonna do eternal life show compassion to other people yeah and, and, and think about it mm. you know those who those these mm. all the one percenters these people who were well off mm. when, when Christ was here mm. he didn't come for those that don't need a physician he didn't he, he came for didn't. those that need a physician you think when he was out there ministering that the people were going out there looking to be healed or anything they had <laughs> money for doctors yeah they did they did not need they, they they were accepted into the synagogues yeah you know poor people mm. got, got, got set outside the synagogue mm. yes sir begging for the rich people that were going in the synagogue wow i see something here the implement the men of man at the pool but there but there's he mean, could have passed on the other side <laughs> a lot of them did yeah matter yeah. of fact because he had nobody to take he had nobody to put him <laughs> to put him into the pool what about the the the, the blind man oh come on now 
come on. The and they were say, and that look, remember the disciples said, who said? Yeah. <laughs> Woo! And Christ said, look, look, it, it neither one of, but but for the works of God, this is for what's going on. And it's it's taking care of people in need. Brother, as I see it, the, the lame man. Wow. Such as I have. I, I mean, people walk by him. Come on. And then he, he go was, in the temple, and everybody that walk by him that's in the temple mad because <laughs> he walking in the temple. <laughs> Praising God. Yes. <laughs> but, but that's interesting of the, you know, because the question was, how shall I inherit eternal life? And, and Christ gave an answer. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. And he didn't discard the, the commandments. You know, he, he said, I want you to love God, yeah. but I want you to also love your neighbor. Yeah. And, and, your, God, and honor your mother and father. I mean, yeah. it goes hand in hand. Yes, sir. That's why I says likewise. Come on. You, if you love love, yeah. then you've got to, to, to actually show love. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If, and, and, and go ahead. This is my thing. You know, there's mm, so mm. much that God has done for me. Come on. And there's so much that I've done contrary to what God's will is. Yes, sir. And yet, he did not pass on the other side. He did not pass on the other side. And I think, I think how many times people do feel good when they do bless somebody? You ever notice that? When you, yeah, it's, it's, you, it's, a, it's a great feeling to, to be a blessing. Mm. And, and, and sometimes, you know, we, we question, mm -hmm. uh, why why am I giving my last to this person yeah. in me? But when you do it, what you receive mm. is a blessing. You know, it, and, and especially if you, you know, when, when you do it because the need needs to be met. Now, don't yeah. do it to like, like, like those, you know, like those, those mm. uh, religious leaders who do it in front of folks. Well, here's to one of his. To show themselves. <laughs> yeah. You know. Uh, they do that too. Yeah. I'm going to bless this. I'm going to bless your ministry. <laughs> Hey, hey, matter of fact, the one the one I thought that came to mind was that remember that one scripture said is if you give to those would you expect to get a return, mm -hmm. you ain't doing nothing. Yeah. Remember that? That's in the scriptures, people. We yeah. sure that next time. This brother I said, this needs chewing on. Yeah. This, this, this needs chewing on because he clearly, and there's other examples in the scriptures. But he's he's answering the question, and and if, just can somebody may have forgotten. He said, "Follow me." Yeah. It, it he you see what I'm saying is, and he didn't do it on this one, but he did it on the first one. Give everything you got, and follow me. And Christ is in this, saying, "I'm giving y'all an answer." You ask, well, "What must I do to inherit eternal life?" I've given you the answer. You need to follow me, just in case people miss that. You know what I mean? <laughs> you, you get some people miss all that. Oh, I just need to take care. Yeah, but you got to follow me. Yeah. And you got to love. Go ahead. Just follow him. Just you know, follow him? First, you, 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 <laughs> you, you, you have to receive the gospel to even be, a, to even be in this conversation. <laughs> Ooh. That's that's first and foremost. Without the without the gospel, Ooh. the conversation is mute. Ooh. Because it, it 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 takes the gospel to mm. generate the faith that is required mm. to believe. And the compassion of God, I assume, too, right? Because the world so, doesn't so teach you to have compassion. Somebody's gotta have compassion to share the gospel. Yes, sir. And not mm. pass on the other side. Woo! I had a person that, matter of fact, I had a, my job. I was trying to explain to this one guy. You know, they, there's a big push to get people off the, some of the conservatives in particular, 
get you off of TikTok and stuff like that. And I was saying, well, it's an audience on there. And this is another tool we can use as a platform to, to preach the gospel, right? Get the word out. But they're like, you, you're mixing secular with, 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 this is what the guy said, you're mixing, you're mixing secular with the Bible. I said, how's that? Aren't we supposed to reach them? Aren't we supposed to reach the secular? Aren't we supposed to reach the Gentiles? How do you, how do you want me to do that? Because if I, because he was showing me, well, you can just use this Me Too thing. See that Me Too? You're that Me Too little app, right? But that, that, that's only those people that's, that I'm aware of, I know of, mm -hmm. that's in, that you group. It's almost like a little uh, text grouping yeah. thing, right? It doesn't, it doesn't expand. It doesn't go any further. Mm -hmm. But the intent is that maybe the people that get it just send it, <laughs> expand it yeah. to other people. But you want to reach as many people as you can the gospel. And uh, I, I, when I was, he was a counterpart. He was also, you know, different and. Uh, to, to me anyway, uh, community wise. And I think that's what's going on with the bigger body of we call churches. Yeah, well, any technology, the first thing is the, the, the church, so-called church does is that's of the devil. Mm. Well, how? You know, and so if, if it's a tool mm. that can be used to spread the gospel, Come on, brother. Obviously, it's a tool that can be to spread other things. Come on, brother. But the tongue, mm. you're going you're gonna to censor the tongue of every person in this world? So to me, any way of spreading the gospel, like the, the gospel. Yes, sir. The, the, the radio. The radio, television, the internet. The internet. You know, these, these ways, these are ways of sharing mm -hmm. the gospel. Technology yeah. has made it available for everyone to Come have on. the word of God at their fingertip. Yeah. And so yeah. Uh, there was a time where, where recently, if you came in and used a tablet or a phone to read the word in church, it was blasphemy. Oh yeah, yeah. Seriously, yeah. You yeah know, you that's how they do get, it. You need to go get a, a hard copy of the word and, and only use that. Yes, sir. And they, it was a, they didn't like you putting on this on the screen. It was yeah, like, ooh, what up on it? the screen. Yeah, you know, they could change the words, and and, mm. and, and it's just <laughs> excuses. It's just it's just an excuse. Yeah. But the reason why they're trying to ban TikTok is because the truth is available. Yeah, TikTok, and, yeah, and they and, can't control it. Exactly, and it's they, they, they can <laughs> stop people from voicing the truth. Mm -hmm. So, even though, like I said, if there's always, if there's one thing that is good, there's always a copycat that is mm -hmm. alternative of that. Yeah, there is the uh, fake truth, and there mm -hmm. is the opposite of the truth, and then there is the truth. There's the truth. I think one of the things I was reading when I was reading in the, uh, I'm in, um, in New Testament, I'm in Acts right now, right? Because <laughs> uh, like I said, I just I start, start all over again. That's how I do it. Which is good because you pick up more stuff that you keep going over. Uh, Paul, when he was preaching the gospel, the, the opposition with the Jewish people, every place he went, a lot of cases, yeah. they were stirred up the Gentiles. <laughs> yeah. Because he was saying that he preached he preached and it's unlawful. Uh, he got them stirred up about and then don't forget the greedy people. Remember that one guy uh, that did the, the, the statues for uh, I guess the effort uh, uh, what's that what's that goddess the, the sex goddess I guess uh, Athena uh, was it know. Venus or something like that, but you know, and they, and they were sitting there saying is he's preaching against. He was making a lot of money. You, just, I know you remember the story. The man was making a lot of money. Yeah. And what Paul was preaching, as far as he was concerned, was in opposition yeah, to what he of the market yeah. that he was in. 
And therefore he tried to stir up the community to attack this gospel, right? And then the Jewish people, because they didn't like you preaching the gospel. Not to Gentiles. Not to Gen. Oh, did you care? Or, or, did you? Or just preaching the gospel of, of Yeshua. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But when it, when it, when it, when I just want to throw at you, when Paul was uh, caught in the temple and they tried to accuse him of bringing a Greek in the temple. And then when he went and he asked the, the Roman soldier to let him speak to the crowd, the scripture in, in, in Acts, when he said to go preach to the Gentiles, they went off. They went, they they just, they just lost their mind because that ain't what they want to hear. No. You, you didn't come to talk. Would you talk? What, what did, did he just say he talking about the, the, to the Gentiles? The ungodly? Did he just say that? He didn't say that, did he? Come on. And, and, and that's the theme that I'm trying to say if I was the world system. The world system is opposite. The world system is to go by the other side. The world, you see what I'm saying? The world system is to not show compassion of somebody that's different. See them different. and they walk wow. on the other side. Deep. Brother, I, 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 let's, we're going to wrap it up. We're over at 11 o'clock now. Anyway. We're going to wrap it up. But do you, I, I'm, I saw a pattern here that need to be analyzed a little bit more. You know what I mean? Uh, and the fact is that the question was what? What was the question? <laughs> How do I e inherit eternal life? Ain't that something? And we get two correct me wrong two situations events yeah. that gave answers to the question now for some of those deep you know some of the deep people brother asking you you did address it already we do want you to you have to receive christ you must be born again. <laughs> this, this, <laughs> this, so just in case somebody was like, well, you know, they talk about how they get a journal life and they talk about it. They, no, no, no. We, 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 we're talking first that, you know, if you don't know, Romans 10 out 10 is a good one. You can use something else. I am not going to hold that for you. But, you know, Romans 10, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised from the dead, thou shall be saved. For with the heart man believes into righteousness, with the mouth confession is made of salvation. You need to do that. That would be the answer said. He said, you, you, the starting point is being saved. <laughs> you gotta be saved. But if you want to follow the pattern that Christ is talking about, Jesus said, I'm the 14, what? John 14, 6. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father but by me. And too many things when we talk about, and I'm gonna throw this out, but most people don't like hearing me that racism the, the atrocities that have occurred to people you 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 if you know the scripture say if you be in christ well see if you're doing if you're not following the pattern bro, oh there you go brother if you're not following these part the patterns he just gave you you must not be in christ if you cross it on the other side you are not a new creation mm. you I, said you, it. It, it it's 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 hard to imagine Mm. That you don't have compassion. That's what mm. that. That's what that Samaritan had. He had compassion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't even say he was a child of God. It doesn't mm -mm. say anything. As a matter of fact, Samaritans were were considered outside. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Yeah. No. No different than that Roman. When mm. Christ said, "I have yet to find such faith." Come on. <laughs> Somebody who was outside. Yeah, yeah. Somebody, Somebody was outside. Man. I, I like that one of the that one that last part of the said he he first said compassion. So he compassion moved him to help the man. Mm -hmm. In the end, when that guy answered it, they, you remember the guy they answered the question, he said, I'll show the people just came from the answer so we could just just make sure nobody will say we we you know. Did we miss something? Look, look, he said that last verse, he changed the word from compassion to what? Look at that verse 37. Mercy. Mm. 
which is another form of compassion, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Because God's mercy endures forever. forever. Ooh, see, you're throwing scriptures up there. And, and unfortunately, people, we're not going to bring those up. <laughs> <laughs> you're just going to have to, faith comes by what? Hearing? Hearing the word of God. But what he said, and that's like a whole bunch of scriptures in that, right? It's his mercy endures forever. And then they kept that. Was that was that one chapter did that? I don't know, one or two chapters. And I think it was in song, wasn't it? His mercy endures forever. I know it's a it's a, it's a few of them. The mm -hmm. way, and I think it's one actual chapter was it of songs that he kept saying, "And his mercy endures forever." Yeah, and, and it re kept repeating it because trying to show people who he is and then once again his mercy endures forever and that lawyer was able to sit there and said he that shows mercy which is also equip equivalent to compassion is what god is asking us if you if you be in christ and then the fact that i like the father but the who catch on is give and it shall be given good measure, press down, shaking together, running over to men, giving their bosom, which is what ministry should be giving. And people too, you are the church. So if you do feel led to get out your car, <laughs> you know, give money to somebody, that's just, that's that's God moving you. You had compassion, you know, on that person. And you, and you, and you, you won't be wrong for doing nope. it, even if you're being beguiled. It's, you, it's you're not, not wrong. Because you're, you're doing it out of love. Exactly. And, yeah. And even if they're trying to get over on you, you're still doing you still you did your part. You you and did the part your, that in the moment you decided to do that, mm -hmm. it counted toward the good. Come on. Matter of fact, you build a treasure in heaven. Yeah. Cause he didn't say give it to poor people that need it. He told that man, just go give it to the poor. Yeah. He said go in there and vet everybody that <laughs> right. Right? We're following this guy around trying to make sure. <laughs> but you know if what? It, huh? if you don't want to give him money. You can get out of your car and give him <laughs> give him a few minutes of your time. Ooh. Ooh. You know, I used to what, what, yeah. what's your situation? You know, yeah. there's a local church over there by where you are. You'd be better pressed to go over here and 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 maybe they can show you some mercy or some mm -hmm. compassion for your situation. Yeah. And, and better help you out. Because some of them got pantries. Some of them got, some of them, even where it changes one time, even had, I think they still do. We even had a clothing. You yeah. like a good, goodwill place? Mm -hmm. You ain't about the clothes. They, they, they had, they said, bring the clothes into the uh, our facility we had. He wanted to take them to the cleaners first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then you put them on the rack. Oh, you give it to us, we'll put them on the rack, and people will have need for it. You know, even in that, I know churches that, that do that. They'll do it in live and get stuff like that. But then there's got to be a, a storehouse for that. And you're paying for that. And then you got to yeah. sort through all that stuff. Yes, sir. And then it just starts getting piled up and piled up. Mm -hmm. A better way is to see someone and have mercy and compassion and then do it specifically what did that person give that person some clothes come on now yeah sure. yeah and they don't have to be brand new there it's just better than what they got I'm come on sure now the clothes that you give are probably practically brand new i mean mm -hmm. i have clothes that i've given away that still had tags on wow 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 you know it just, it's yeah. just you just see something you buy it and you never end up wearing it it's just yeah like, yeah and, yeah uh, and that's a blessing to somebody. Store, you just it had no purpose for you. But Come anyway, out. Uh, the the thing is, eternal life is the goal. Yes, sir. That was that was the question, and he gave some answers, didn't he? Yeah. Amen. Hey, well, think about it, and don't forget what we learned. We want to be somewhere pass on to somebody else. So just remember that, right? And those who are even listen to this, it's, it's not, it's, correct me wrong, bro. It's not, we're not, it's not just to feed ourselves. No. It's to take what we learn and put it in action any way we can. Yeah. Amen. And I thought this one is, that's what I'm saying. This one needs some examination and looking at it and saying, hmm. 
Come on, bro. Uh, well, you have a good week. I, I, I did uh, get a text back from your sister. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you.